everyone! Welcome back to my channel! So, if you're new here, I am Gail and for today, I am going to talk about the cost of living here in Hamamatsu, Japan during my first year as an ALT. So, if you're interested, then please keep on watching! I am about to pay my bills! So, ta-da! So, this is the first thing that I do after I receive my salary ting bayad og bills let's go Go all. Go all. No. <laughs> all right, guys. So just a quick story. It's my first time living alone. So all my life, for 24 years, I lived with my parents, and I never got to pay the bills. Well, except for the Wi-Fi at home, which I paid. But like paying everything on my own it's really my first time at first it's a little bit overwhelming because ALTs here in Japan or probably other people here in Japan are paid once a month only in my case I am paid every 20th of the month so yeah you have to really have a good budgeting skills so Let's get to the things that I paid or for the bills that I paid last year. So first is my apartment rent. So this apartment right here is 43,000 yen a month. Yes, so that's around 20,000 pesos. Yes, guys. That's how much I pay for every month. But compared to other ALTs living in bigger cities, I actually pay lesser. So I can't complain anymore. I love my apartment, by the way. And I don't need to pay for the Wi-Fi. I don't need to pay for my water because that is already included or included, sorry, in my um, monthly rent. So yeah, that's it. 43,000 yen. Next one is my electricity or electricity bill. It depends on the season actually. So in winter, you use um, the heater. So it costs way higher or more expensive than in summer. So... The most expensive bill that I paid for electricity is 4,600 uh, yen. Yes. So, I don't use the heater so much to save electricity. So, I just use my um, fleece pajama or wear a lot of clothes inside my apartment. Yes. And the least amount that I paid for electricity was 1,500 yen. Yeah, so that was in summer. Okay, next one is my gas. So, the gas here is not the gas that you use for cooking. Not that one, guys. So, the gas here is um, for the hot water that you use for shower or taking a bath or washing your dishes so yeah the gas the most expensive one that i paid was 3500 yen that was last month yeah because february was the coldest month for winter so i used it a lot 
Next one, I paid how much? Oh, the least amount that I paid was 2,100 yen. That was in summer. Yeah, so that's for the gas. Next one, for my phone. For my phone bill, the normal cost of my phone bill is, or my phone um, plan, is just 4,000 yen. But if you do international calls or you do a lot of calls here in Japan, it will increase. So you pay more if you do more calls. Luckily, I don't do a lot of calls. So yeah, I just pay around 4,000 to 4,500 yen every month. That's for my phone. Next one. For my school lunch, so um, for those of you who are not aware of the school lunch system, so here in Japan, teachers can avail the school lunch just like the students. So it's way cheaper than buying or cooking. So yeah, I am lucky that I availed it. Normally, I pay around 6,000 yen a month. Yeah, so 6,000 to 7,000 yen a month. So yeah, I think that's cheaper. And the school lunch here is very healthy. I learned to eat veggies because I have no choice. Teachers have to eat what is being served in front of them. So yeah, that's for my school lunch. Next one is my national health insurance. So for my national health insurance, I only paid 2,000 a month. So that's yen guys, 2,000 yen a month for my first year. But I already finished my first year and I think it's going to increase drastically. I am not yet ready to see the next NHI bill. I hope it won't be 20,000 yen. Hopefully. Okay. Yeah, I think those are my monthly bills. Now, let's go to my loans. Haha, <laughs> yes guys. So, coming to Japan wasn't easy. I had to borrow money both um, from the company and from back home. I had to do a lot of loans. So, for Interact or for my company, I paid 29,000 yen for 10 months. So, that's it. Second, my loan back home, I had to pay 20 to 25,000 yen a month. Yeah. So, now, please do the math. So, Magkano na lang yung matitira sa sahod ko, guys? Kayo na ang bahalang mag, ano, mag, minus. Medyo, actually, um, before coming here, the owner of the recruitment agency really told us that we won't be able to save a lot during our first year because we are still quite settling down here. So we have to pay for our loans, we have to manage everything on our own for the first time. So yeah, we don't have much savings, but it's way better than my salary back home. So I want to share this again. So yeah, that's it. So those are the things that I paid for during my first year. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comment section below. I'd be happy to help. And good luck for those teachers who are planning to come here in Japan for this year or for the following years. I am sure you can do it, guys. The experience here is really priceless. Yes, you will experience a lot of homesickness, um, hardships, but... It'll make you a better person. So yeah, that's all for today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you again on my next video. 
If you like what you see, please like and subscribe and see you next time. Bye! I'm done!